morning and welcome from a little bit chilly, not overly chilly, but just not your usual warm greenhouse at the crack of dawn. Okay, everybody, we're in the greenhouse. Um, it probably looks a little bit blue in the video here because it literally is the crack of dawn. It's quarter past six in the morning. The sun has only just, well, I see the sun has come out. The light has only just appeared because the sun has come up. But as is usual in Scotland, we have a layer of clouds so you can't see the sun. But hey, that's fine. Um, why am I in the greenhouse at this time in the morning? You lot are probably going, geez, Eli, for a very good reason. I've got an incredibly busy day planned today because if the weather holds, we want to try and get this bed replaced today. It's an all day job, involves digging out all the soil, rebuilding the whole bed, levelling it off, refilling that bed so it takes all day and we need to find a day where it's not going to piss down the rain so we can do it. So the weather for today said windy, but not raining. So we're on alert. Hopefully we'll get this done today. And I wanted to get this video done for you guys. Hopefully I can get out today, but if not, then you might be seeing this on Monday. So either way, it's either Happy Sunday or Happy Monday. Yeah, it's the name of a band. Um, and what I want to talk about is propagators and what I call double bagging. So it's it's simple. This is going to be a short video. It's really simple. And I'm going to use my helpful thermometer to talk to you guys about this because we all, you guys know, I'm in Scotland. Scotland is not the coldest country in the world. It's not the even close to being the warmest country in the world. But what we do have here that we have to battle with in the garden is we don't get warm until right into summer, okay? So spring for us is usually still quite cold and very wet um, and it doesn't get kind of proper sunny warm days until you're probably the end of May you get a little bit, then it gets cold again and then mid-June you get a bit, then it'll get cold again and then July you'll start getting it. Um, hey, welcome to Scotland. So there's something I do because in the greenhouse, Obviously, my greenhouse isn't heated, and a lot of you guys also don't have heated greenhouses. So you're always asking me, oh, how do you do this? I'd love a heated greenhouse. Or oh, I'm wanting heated propagators. I don't have any of that, okay? Not because I wouldn't love them. I would. I just can't afford them. Um, but what I do to get around it is this. In the greenhouse, right at this moment, it's currently 7 degrees, okay? That is just the temperature inside the greenhouse just now. <laughs> we have a weather station just up the road, so... Doop, doop, doop. Yep, the weather outside apparently is 7 degrees. There we go. So you can see... I should be like... Whoa. Um, you can see that just having a heated greenhouse doesn't automatically always make it warmer. Okay. Later on today, once the sun has been properly up for a bit, it will be slightly warmer in here, but it's only slightly warmer at the moment. So that means when I have any plants in here that are just sitting out on the shelf, like my foxgloves and everything, then they're sitting in the greenhouse and it may be maybe one or two degrees warmer. Okay, but the benefit is if it's properly cold, like frosty out there, obviously it's not going to be frosty in here. But also sometimes, even though the temperature might say 7, right now outside it feels much, much colder because you have the wind chill to contend with as well. And so do the plants. So there's the benefit of having a greenhouse. But this is where propagators come in. If you put your plants in propagators, you're adding another layer, if you like, that's controlling that environment, so it's controlling the moisture, it's controlling any warmth that there is in there, that sort of thing. So let's have a look. It's my first cup out of the morning. So you can see I've got a variety of propagators, okay? So this one has got marigolds in it. This is the mystery propagator. I planted it a lot and I forgot to label it, so I only realised today what was in there. But Let's have a look and see. Okay, so put that in and you can see. Don't know if you can, I'm hoping you can, but 
There are a couple of wee things up. Not many yet. Just a couple. But if you look, okay, the soil that is inside that propagator is currently 9 degrees. So that's 2 degrees warmer than the soil that isn't in a propagator. Okay? So that's cool. In a propagator, it's like having its own little tiny greenhouse. Keeps it all shielded. It lets the light in, so when it does get any kind of warmth from the sun coming up, it kind of holds it a bit better. It's got vents, so I can control how much moisture is getting in and out, which is great because it means a nice controlled environment for your seeds while they're germinating. That's what seeds want, okay? And this one you can see is not a fancy propagator. This is just a storage box that happens to be clear. And when I run out of propagators, I use things like this because you don't need to buy anything fancy. It's like I was saying in the last video about just using plastic trays and things that you've got in the house for popping up your seeds instead of buying things, okay? So that is soil that's not in a propagator. We saw was colder than soil from plants that are in a propagator. Okay, so if we've got a propagator inside a propagator, that's what I call double bagging. Um, and I'm going to have to move you to show you this one because it's behind you right now. So, excuse. This is where everything changes. You guys don't normally get to see this side of the greenhouse, do you? Hi from this end. Right, this is, I think they call this a sun tunnel. Um, I love this and I tried to buy another one this year, but you can't get them anymore. Nobody does them. I love it. Big propagator so I can get lots in it. And what you'll find with me is I move things around in here. Okay, so big one, again, it's got the vents on the side, but what it does that I love, excuse me while I trash the place, as you'll see in here, tree of petunias are planted yesterday, there isn't a lid on that prop, that isn't a propagator, it's just a tree, but these guys are root trainers that I use for carrots and beetroot. If you go back to the videos for the last couple of years, you'll see when I decided I was going to do this, because being much colder up here, Anything I plant out in the beds takes a long time to come up. So this way, I get my carrots and my beetroot started off early. Awesome. Um, so carrots and beetroots are in root trainers with propagator lids inside of propagator. Double bagged, okay? So let's get the thermometer going again. So straight away, we can see that that's a couple of degrees at least warmer. And you can see as well, these guys have come on much quicker, even though all that stuff was all planted at the same time. But you can see that these have come on a lot faster. But yeah, so there we go. That's another couple of degrees up. So it's not like mad crazy temperatures or anything that you get in this, guys. That's the thing. But I'm grabbing one or two degrees where I can this way. I have to put everything back together again now. So that's it. Propagators, that's how I do it. So you have the greenhouse as your first level of protection for all your new seedlings that you're bringing on and your seeds that you're germinating. A propagator in the greenhouse gives it that second level of protection of controlling the environment that you're growing them in, uh, helping with sort of any kind of chilling there, that kind of stuff. And then I do propagator in propagator and that gives me that extra little layer. It gives me that extra one or two degrees. It's not heaps, okay? It's not the same as having a heated greenhouse or a heated propagator or, or seeding bench or whatever, okay? I'm not going to pretend it's the same. And I'm not going to pretend I wouldn't love that stuff because I would. Um, but yeah, so that's it. So this is how I do propagators. Yeah, and hopefully you guys are all having a fabby time and you're going to get out in the garden today. Um, and I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and nobody's at home ill or self-isolating or dealing with family who are in anything because it really, the world is a bit sucky right now. Um, so yeah, see if you guys are stuck at home, you're self-isolating, you're lonely, you're bored. Here, watch this. Right? We actually have a tab in the channel where you can just chat. Just It's called, I think, Discussions. 
right? Get on there and just put your comments in. If you're self-isolating and you need a wee bit of company, get in there, okay? And the rest of you guys get in and keep an eye and keep everybody company. Because at the minute, we all have to be doing our bit and helping each other out here, okay? And that goes for all you sods that are out there, panic buying toilet roll and stuff like that as well. Pack it in, there's no need. Right, off my soapbox. Get in the garden. Yeah, and I totally forgot, while I'm packing up here, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more of these videos, and hit that bell if you want to get notified next time I put a video out. Okay guys, have fun, see ya!